tells us that Jacob gave Joseph a coat of many colors. As a parent, you must be careful not to cause sibling rivalry. You didn't have one child. Why giving the coat to one child? There are so many of you who are parents. You openly show love to one child more than another child. Get ready for hatred on that child. That your child is giving you much money today doesn't mean that those children that don't have money have a wasted future. How can Joseph expect to wear a coat of many colors and not attract hatred of many colors? Be careful of sibling rivalry. Have biological children. There is no one I love more than anyone. All of them the same wavelength. But there are parents today. There are certain calls of certain children. When you pick the call, it's to scold them. They are not doing well. They are not doing well. And you celebrate that one that gives you money, that buys you a car, that does all that for you. You are creating sibling rivalry. The beginning of Joseph's problem was his father. That is why they kept collecting all the coats. All the coats. The coat the father gave him, they collected it. The one Potiphar's wife collected another one. See, <laughs> this is your coat, we'll collect it. There are many families Satan has ignored. They called him. The devil was on his own. They invited him. Be careful. Joseph was loved as a father, as a mother. Learn to hide your treasure. Your daughter is in Lagos. Your son is in Lagos. We can't rest. They bought you a car. You say it. They do this one. You say it. They did that one. You say it. Learn to hide your treasure. There are some of you. Even in security, you in, in the world of security, you don't reveal details. Only two months, you miss your period. Two weeks, rather. Pa! I get belly. I get belly. I get belly. I get. Two weeks. A, an embryo, not even a child yet. Embryo. Embryo, not even a child. Am I communicating? You announce yourself. If pregnancy of six months can be removed by witchcraft, what is two weeks? That's for apprentice now. It's for the witch that just joined took puff puff. They will not even send. <laughs> they will not even send a mature. It's for one baby witch. Say, remove that thing. Operate in silence. Let your success make noise. Operate. Joseph was talking too much. You are a singer. There are times, finish your single. Record it. Release it before you tell anybody. Shock people. Take them by storm. The enemy of a dreamer is a non-dreamer. Anybody that has a dream must be careful of people without dreams. They will condemn it. Any man that doesn't dream is wondering why you are dreaming. There are people, listen to me, there are people in this life who have no dream, no desire, no pursuit to succeed. They sleep, they wake up, that's all. They wake up in the morning, they do their worship, they go back to their normal life, very small, very small, myopic, there's no dream. There's no pursuit, nothing. They live an average life. But Joseph told the right thing to the wrong people. When you tell the wrong people the right thing, you have initiated the battle. When you tell the wrong people the right thing, you have initiated the war. There are some wars and battles that people are going through that are self-attracted. They were not God intended. They were self-attracted. They were not God intended because you were telling the right thing to the wrong people. One of the things you must conquer in life as a person is hate, envy, competitiveness. If you can rule over the spirit of hate, competition, envy, you'll be a better Christian. Because that's one thing that pervaded the church of Jesus. Envy, envy, hate, competition, jealousy, rivalry, name calling, campaign of calumny. It has invaded the hearts of people. In church, sisters are envious of sisters. Brothers are envious of brothers. It has, it has become, it has almost become accepted as a norm. Somebody buys a car, someone else is angry. Somebody bought a land, somebody is angry. Somebody is close to leadership, other people are thinking of how to destroy that person before leadership. Accuser of the brethren. Anytime you accuse a brother or a sister, 
you have taken over the ministry of Satan. You have taken over. You have inherited. Satan has gone on recess. He's resting. You have stepped into his shoes to work on for him. Can I shock you? Can I surprise you? Can I tell you one truth? There are people who are wrong. Because of your hate, God's mercy is elevating them. Can I repeat that? There are people who are drunks, who are wrong. But because of the hatred you have shown them, God has turned your hatred to mercy and is lifting them. Because you have taken the place of God to judge them and God does not share his glory. You intend to pull them down. God says you can't pull them down because I am the Lord. That's my duty. That's my assignment. It's not your assignment. So I will frustrate you. But you now hands up and leave them to God. God now judge them. Every genuine dream attracts enmity. There is no destination without confrontation. The confrontation of life is not to divert your destination, but to check if you believe in your destination. Can I say this? If God never wanted battles, it would have been after salvation, rapture. It would have been after salvation. Lord, I come to you today as my, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive my sin. The next thing, pew. No. When you get saved, God will allow you to stay in this world to test your salvation, to prove if you believe. You see battles. Deuteronomy 8, verse 2, to prove them. Judges 3, 1, 2, and 3, to prove them. John 6, 5 to 6, this is said to prove him because he knew what to do. Once you are saved, God allows battles to test you. When you are going somewhere in life, you have a destination in life and in destiny. There's somewhere you are going. God will bring up battles. He'll bring up mountain. He'll bring up high waters to test you. If you believe in the destination you are going. Tell somebody, I have a dream. <laughs>